Good afternoon. If you happen to have a copy of the authorized version of the scriptures, I would highly suggest and recommend that you get the authorized version of the scriptures, uh, commonly referred to as the King James Version, and I would recommend to you, Christian, to go ahead and follow along in the scriptures. Why? Well, 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 you can't understand this, huh? But yet you're educated. You're a progressive Christian, huh? Yeah, but yet you can't understand the authorized version? Don't give me that. Don't give me that. Please, like I said, get the authorized version. Read along with me. Word for word, verse by verse, and what we'll be looking at today. Okay, please. It ain't going to be long. It ain't going to be long. Okay, please. Please. Christianity is a system of religion designed for lost people, okay, to justify sin, all right? And you're not being preached the actual Jesus Christ of Scripture. Majority of you Christians believe in one God and three persons, okay, to start. And those of you who don't, you don't rightly divide the word of truth and so on. Never mind. You Christians don't understand that. But here's something you do understand. You understand about the world. Romans chapter 16, verse 17 on verse 20. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. Now see, Christians will call a saint like myself and other saints, they'll throw that at us saints because we're... We're preaching to them the actual Jesus Christ of Scripture. We're preaching to them separation from that garbage called the world. Okay? But see, Christianity comes in. God loves you. God's not angry at you. God wants you to have your best life now. And like a brother had just said to me, they, you know, Christians, they don't say that with their lips, but it's in everything they do. The faith that was once delivered unto the saints is contrary to the flesh. Jesus Christ is contrary to man. You ever think about that? Being a saint, a saved individual, and walking according to the scripture, not your feelings, is contrary. But here comes Christianity. Here comes Christianity. It's all about flesh. It's all about flesh. It's all about you. It's all about you. And see, the Christian will come and throw this at the saint, saying that we're the ones. We're the ones causing divisions and offenses. Well, amen against your little Christianity, amen. But see, notice, now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. See, saints learn of, learn of the Lord Jesus Christ through the scriptures. You Christians learn of Satan through the Jesuits through your feelings, through CCM, and maybe even a Bible, which contradict each other. So, I guess in a sense, you Christians are sticking to your guns, but see, you're sticking to the wrong thing. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly. And by good words and fair speeches, Deceive the hearts of the simple. For your obedience has come abroad unto all men. I am glad, therefore, on your behalf. But yet I would have you wise concern, wise unto that which is good, and simple concerning evil. See, now you Christians, you look at verse 18, it's like, we're supposed to be simple. Yes, we are. Concerning evil. But wise 
concerning, but wise unto that which is good. You might be, you Christians, be like, well, what, what does that mean? If it's contrary to the scripture, it's bad. Okay? But there are many out there who claim to be saints, who claim to be saved, who offer you another Jesus and another gospel. So, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman who needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So, see, you're supposed to read this, the scripture, and not be led by your feelings. Okay? Not be led by your feelings. And that's all Christianity is about. Every denomination of it, including King James Bible believing Christianity. Look at the comment sections on some of these guys. Okay? Look at them, people. But, so, you Christian might look at verse 18. It's like, well, simple. See, we're supposed to be simple. Simple concerning evil. Okay? Number one, you got to rightly divide the word of truth. Number two, if it's contrary to this, then it's evil. Okay? That's, that's pretty simple. But see, we are to search the scriptures daily, whether these things be so, because there are smooth talkers out there, boy. Smooth. Smooth as silk talkers out there who interject poison so subtly. And it sounds so good. A uh, brother sent me this thing called the gospel film. Okay? And we're not going to do a video on that, brother, because that's just grotesque. Okay? The minute somebody comes to you telling you God loves you, right away, they're preaching to you another Jesus. Well, God so loved, loved, past tense, that he gave, past tense. You want the love of God? You got to go his way, not yours. And that's the problem. So many want to go their way. Philippians chapter 3. Philippians chapter 3, 17 on verse 19. Philippians chapter 3, verses 17 on verse 19. Brethren, be followers together of me, and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an ensample. I like that word. For <laughs> many. Many. Of whom I have told you often, and now tell you even weeping, that they are enemies of the cross of Christ. The, the, the cross of Christ. Okay, the cross of Christ. You know, the, uh, the cross, you know what the cross is about? It's about death. It's about death. Death to yourself. That's why so many people don't want to go the way of the cross. But they want to boot the door and climb up some other way. And justify every kind of sin under heaven that they can while being a good Christian. Verse 18. For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are enemies of the cross of Christ whose end is destruction whose God is their belly. There's another reference on the belly. Flesh. What are you eating? Huh? We're going to look at a channel today called Trailblazer. Uh, I've heard of these guys before. Guy, woman, whoever that, whoever, <laughs> excuse me, whoever these devils are, okay? But we're going to look at this, an example of this visual stimuli thing again, okay? But let's continue. Who's in this destruction, whose God is their belly. And whose glory is in their shame who mind earthly things. Like a supposed Christian woman who leaves her husband dating already another man. Not even actually divorced. No evidence of, uh, of infidelity or physical violence or what. We don't know, but yeah. 
but they're Christian. They're Christian. They justify it. That was fresh in the memory, and that is for, for those of you. Okay? But that's Christianity for you. That's Christianity for you. Justify. Just as if I. Just as if I. And the thing that these guys, you, well, not all of them, because a lot of them don't understand this, but there are those out there who know, and they go, well, all things are lawful for me. And that's undisputable. That is undisputable. But see, it shows a level of mindset to someone who doesn't want to forsake something that they know God hates. It's undeniable. All things are lawful for me, but not all things are expedient. Yes, you can do whatever you want to do, you, to an extent, of course. Of course. You know, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Colossians 3 now, verses 1 on to verse 4. Colossians 3, verses 1 on to verse 4. See, we're supposed to be dead to this. If ye then be risen with Christ, born again, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead. You went the way of the cross. You died to self, and you died to this world. Yes, you're going to still struggle with your, with the sagging skin suit. With the sagging sin suit. Thank you, brother. Okay? Yes, you're still going to have pride problems. Unless you're a perfect creature from the coast of England. Okay? You, you're going to have these problems. Okay? Yes, you are. Alright? But see, the way of a cross is death. And Christians don't like that. Christians do not like that. For ye are dead, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Second Peter. Second Peter. Second Peter chapter 2. Second Peter chapter 2. I'm actually going to put this guy's, or whoever these people are, in the, maybe, uh, it's going to be tagged, definitely, okay? Definitely. These guys are these guys are the symptom or the side effect, the symptom of the problem. And the discernment in Christianity doesn't exist. But more on that in a second, okay? Second Peter chapter two verses eighteen on to verse twenty two. For while for when they speak great swelling words of vanity. They allure through the lusts of the flesh, through much wantonness. Those that were clean escape from them who live in error. Remember this verse. Remember this verse. While they promised them liberty. Or is it charity, huh? Idiot. They themselves are the servants of corruption. For of whom a man is overcome... The same of the same as he brought into bondage. And of course, I have to have to do this. Nafta got to have to. Uh, uh, where is that? Six fifteen. Uh, where do I? Where? Oh yes, Romans six sixteen. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. And Matthew 16, Matthew 16, Matthew 16, 23, But he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan, thou art an offense unto me, for thou savorest not the things that be of God, but those that be of God.
For if, after they had escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge, knowledge, wisdom is the basis for knowledge. Knowledge is here. Wisdom is the fear of the Lord. There are two wisdoms. There is the wisdom that is the fear of the Lord, and there is this, the wisdom of this world, which is earthly, eh, earthly sensual, devilish. And we're going to see an example of it here, just really quick. For if they had escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning because they have the knowledge. <coughs> All here, not the 18 inches that goes down. Okay? They think they do. God knows my heart. Yes, he does. Be careful with that. Be careful with that. See, people, Christianity is just a means to justify sin. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness, <coughs> known the way of righteousness, than after that, that than after they have known it, to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. Now it says, "Don't do that. You do it anyway." So thus it is. Thus it is. Thus it is. Okay. There is no one perfect on earth. The perfection is one of the heart. A perfect heart with the Lord. Sinless perfection in this day and age is impossible. It's impossible. Only one could do it and has done it. Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. Okay? He's the only one because he happened to be God the Father. He is God the Father. He is. Okay? He's the only man who ever walked on this earth without sin. And if you say that there was someone else, you lie and your breath stink. I could smell it all the way over here in Woodstick Illinois. You're a little Christ, huh? But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is turned to his his male on vomit again and the sow that was washed to her female wallowing in the mire. Alright. Alright, got some more verses, but let's let's check this um, let's check this lovely thing out. Alright. Trailblazer. I had heard of these this Whatever, whatever. I've heard of this one before. All right. Big part. First of all, uh, let's see. Welcome to Trailblazer Christian Channel. Our channel is dedicated to uplifting your spirit and strengthening your walk with God through Christian inspiration inspiring videos whether you're seeking a Christian sermon or oh boy <laughs> to spark a fire in your heart a prayer to help you connect with God no thank you I, I don't want to connect with the God you're offering or a powerful testimony to encourage your faith our channel has you covered. Covered in uh, the tapestries of Egypt. Covered in dumb. Yeah. In the midst of life's storms. Our, con our content will inspire you to vomit. <laughs> to keep your eyes on Jesus. And to remain firm in your faith. Which Jesus. You're going to now, now, guys, brethren, people. A saint, even a nominal saint, meaning one who's not doing much, but actually a saint. There is such a thing. A saint is going to look at this tripe 
and immediately go you like come on <laughs> yeah come on but see it's all about you it's all about flesh it's all about feelings it's not about truth these guys are offering you another Jesus and another gospel okay Join us daily for your dose of Christian uplifting videos, allowing the transformative power of the gospel to mold your thoughts and actions and become tra and becoming trailblazers for Christ. You go to hell. You can go to hell. Trailblazers, whatever you guys are, whoever you are, you can go straight to hell. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> yeah, coming trailblazers. Yeah, uplifting videos. Transformative power of the gospel to mold your thoughts and actions, huh? Okay. Now, I want you to notice something. Now, like I said, you you want to watch one of these and see for yourself, go ahead. We're not going to play a video, but I want to demonstrate to you about something about the visual stimuli thing again. Okay? The, this, this, this topic is not going to go away. It's not going to go away. Because the visual is what Satan is basing everything off of now. We walk by faith, not by sight. But Christianity walks by sight. And their faith is in what? Their faith in themselves. But I want to demonstrate something to you. Check this out. Go to this individual's videos, okay? Now, note these thumbnails. Note the mind control manipulation here. The sensory input through the eyes to trigger things in the brain. Okay? These guys are using a form of psychological manipulation with their thumbnails. Let me show you. Look at, okay, now just glance at this, brethren, people. What, what gets your attention first with these thumbnails, okay? What gets your attention first? The red. Oh, you're a red word Christian, aren't you? It will help you. Is not. Focus on me. We'll fight this battle. Is with you. In the storm. Monitoring spirit around you. Those are just the red words. Okay? This is this is propaganda. This is psychological manipulation. This is, this is brazen in your face. Trust his timing. Pain to prepare you. Don't give up. Exposing the evil. Allow God to lead you. See this. Anxious, silent. Moving you towards your purpose. For your calling. Now, that, look at that. At a first glance, what's going to get your attention? It's going to be the red. Because it uh, comes out at you. That's a psychological tactic that these people are using. And I, unfortunately, have listened to it. A, a saint, a saint is going to look at this and be like, Pfft. But see, Christians, your best life now, it's all about you. It's all about your feelings. It's all about what you can justify and get away with and still call yourself a Christian. This is deliberate. This is satanic. This is filth. Okay? But I, this is not the, the... Okay, I wanted to demonstrate that to you now. Go to their popular... Oh, wow! Now we're seeing something. These are their popular videos. Five signs. Oh boy. Oh boy. Matthew chapter 16. Oh boy. 
Oh boy, we walk by faith, not by sight. But no, Christianity, they require a sign, huh? Why? Because uh, Christianity has replaced Israel, right, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Matthew 16, verse 4. Uh, actually, let's read verses 1 under verse 4. The Pharisees also and the Sadducees came and tempting desired him that he would shew them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites! Ye can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the sign of the times? A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. And he left them and departed. Hmm. And of course, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Okay? See, this is the subtleness of this. Okay? We walk by faith, not by sight. We walk by faith, not by sight. Five signs God is talking to you. These tra like a, <clears throat> these guys, whoever this is, trailblazer, whoever you are, whoever you are, the Lord rebuke you, you swine, you devils. First Corinthians, First Corinthians chapter one. Verses 18 and verse 25. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. You got a Bible? It says being saved, doesn't it? No. Saved. Once saved, always saved, eternally secure, knowing, knowing that when to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Okay? For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. What is what wisdom of what wise are, is being addressed here? Not the wisdom of the Lord, but the wisdom that is of this world. Prove it to you. Let's go. Verse 20. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? See, verse 20 tells you what wisdom is being described in verse 19 wisdom of this world, which is earthly, sensual, devilish. Hath not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? Uh -huh. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. For the Jews require a sign. And the Greeks seek after wisdom. Oh, placement theology, huh? Veil. But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block and unto the Greeks foolishness. But unto them which are called, not Calvinists, called way of the cross, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God, because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. And the weakness of God is stronger than men. And, and back in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 18, For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they allure through the lusts of the flesh, through much wantonness, those that were clean escaped from them who live in error. Look at this. These are their popular videos, these Christians. And hey, you King James Bible believers, Bible-believing Christians, okay, Christian you want to separate yourselves from this stuff and amen. But see, you're just like them, but in a way different form. You're no different. When you get right down to it. You wanted to create yourself a denomination, a demon, a demonation for yourself, you have. Anyway, look at this. Look at this. Five signs. God is talking with you. The red word thing again. Sex. 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 
Oh, huh? When you have like um oh oh Renee was it Renee Roland? I forget, but there was like one of the Adam Christian woman preaching. Oh boy, oh boy. But when sex is promoted in the guise of Christianity. You might be saying, well, what's wrong with talking about that? To this extent, look at it, look, look, look. Sex, sex, <laughs> sex, sex, not all in red, but <laughs> come on, this is on, they're sex. Okay, you, you've got the point. You've got the point. Okay, that, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. You got the point. You got the point. All right? You got it. First John chapter 2. First John chapter 2, verses 15 on to verse 17. See, this is what Trailblazer is doing. And a saved individual would come to that channel trailblazer and be like, dude, are you out of your mind? These, these people saved. No, they're not. 1 John 2, 15 on verse 17. Love not the world, neither the things that are of the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh. Sex, 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 sex. Five signs this, right? Ah. Huh? The lust of the eyes. Five signs. Like Mark the Messenger is all about signs this, signs that. Well, he's an idiot. He thinks he's a Hebrew. <laughs> Never mind about that guy. For all those in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. Is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. And of course, 1 John 4, verses 5 and 6. Here, here, let, me, let, me, let me get this up here. One more time. One more time for this. Hold on. Bear with me. Bear with me, okay? Oh, oh, shut up, shut fun. up. They are of the world. Therefore speak they of the world. <laughs> yeah. They are of the world. <laughs> Look at that filth. Look at that filth. They are of the world. Therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Like I said, um, a saint, a saved individual, even a babe, would look at that and be like, oh. Dude, that's going to be it. Uh, listen, if you're someone who's deceived by this, these idiots, these devils, I feel sorry for you. But if you're going to justify them, um, I think you're lost. I think you're fake. I think you're phony. I think you're a mere Christian. You need to get saved. Come. Let's reason together, you and I. Please. Please. Because the sight of the eyes is what this trailblazer is all about. Psychological manipulation. Mind control. Visual stimuli stimulating with those catchphrases. Buzzwords as they're called. And you and some of you people want to defend Christianity. 
There's your Christianity, boy. There's your Christianity. You did, you, you have at it, buddy. Fell up the dosage, pal. I'll I'll stick with the saints. Thank you for watching this. If you do, bye.